Hello everyone, this is Shrikar here and today we'll be talking about how to add um, sharing functionality to your iOS application. Sharing is one of the main uh, one of the main ingredient for a successful app and iOS provides some really cool features wherein you can add the iOS sharing functionality with like very less code. Let's see how we can do that. To get started, let's create a single view application and uh, let's go ahead and drag a button. And let's change the text to share. Similarly, let's go ahead and drag a UI label. Let's align it, put it here. Let's change it to sharing. Just kidding. Then let's add some constraints. Command click on both of them and add constraints like horizontal center in the container. Click on add. Then control drag from sharing is carrying till the top. Let's say top space to the layout guide. Similarly, control drag from the share button till the bottom, say bottom space to the bottom layout guide. And let's go ahead and run the application now. We should see that we have a label and a button which is properly aligned. When you click on the share, nothing happens because the functionality is still not implemented. Let's go ahead and implement that. Close the sidebar. Then open up the assistant editor. Um, I'll just, let's do this. Control drag from the label and to the UI view controller. Let's say it as label text. Uh, let's connect it as an outlet. Similarly, control drag from the share button onto the UI controller, view controller. Let's say it as share. Let's change the connection to action type and then say connect. In this share functionality, uh, okay, let's close this, open up the view controller.swift. The functionality of sharing is provided by a view controller called UI Activity View Controller in iOS. So let's go ahead and create an instance of that type, UI Activity View Controller. It takes in two items, one is the activity items and the second one is the application activities. For now, for application activities, uh, activity items it basically takes in any object it means we can pass any object which uh, basically agrees or like mm, uh, agrees to or conforms to a partic uh, particular protocol uh, so in the first case what we can do is let's see um, let's pass in a, a string which is nothing but the label text text let's unwrap it and then pass nil for the application activities then say self dot present view controller, pass it as VC. Let's animate that and for the completion handle, let's pass it as null. Let's go ahead and run the application now. If you run the application now, when we click on the share button, we should see a set of options uh, or the platforms to which we can share. Um, here you can see that the mail icon appears uh, that this code actually works on the device, but not on a simulator for mail. That's because the mail app itself is not uh, installed on the simulator. So to test, what we can do is let's click on the Twitter and let's see what happens. So sharing is getting is nothing, uh, is nothing but the label text which we had on the main storyboard. And uh, we can do like post, we can change it, whatever we want, and then we can post it to the Twitter. The next thing we uh, need to observe is uh, when we pass in this uh, UI label text, um, the, in the in the normal uh, iOS device, we can see that we have another option for add to the reading list. Uh, that thing doesn't show up in the current case because we are passing in a text and not a link. So what we can do is for that to see working, we will pass in a link object which is of type nsurl. nsurl string with name com and then we can pass in the link here and when we run the application again and click on share we should be able to see that extra option add to the reading list right we could the same thing works for even Twitter and uh, email one neat thing about that uh, about the UI activity view controller is that we can pass in a list of items 
so what we can do is uh, we could pass something like label text dot text and then we can just pass an another link as well as actual link object and when we go ahead and run this uh, application again and click on share first thing is add to the reading list appears because we have a link object inside that and we, when we click on twitter what we see is we have sharing is getting and even the text extra text which we passed as the second parameter of the activity items so this is how we can add uh, the ios functionality to your ios applications there's some more detailed thing which we can like we can do with the your activity controller that is by creating your own custom class and uh, uh, making them conform to the ui activity item uh, source uh, protocol so this one the activity items which we pass here could be a normal objects like string uh, ns data or a image or a link or any custom object which protocols to the ui activity item source uh, protocol so you could do some more custom uh, stuff with uh, if you if you if you want with that custom uh, class uh, that's it for today guys um, uh, if you have uh, any more question please comment on the youtube uh, link or you can if you want to learn more about ios application you can even go to http shrikar.com that is shrikar.com thank you